Right, now that we have Kali Linux installed, let me just show you an overview of the system, what Linux is, what the structure of the file systems are, and some of the basic apps that we're going to use. Now, bear with me, I know the quality of the uh, Kali here right now, I, I'm using it in a stretched mode, so it's not proper full screen. I'm doing that because there is certain programs that we need to install first to make it support the full resolution of the screen or of the monitor. I'm gonna talk about that in the next lecture because it is, it's not advanced, but it's just you need to know some commands and I'll, I'll walk you through them. But for now, I just like to give you an overview of the system. So as you can see here, we just have a status bar, very simple. The applications menu can be accessed from here. So if you click on applications, you'll be able to access all the applications that come in pre-installed with Kali Linux. And as you can see, they're divided into categories in terms of the type of the attack that they, can, they allow you to do. So we have information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web applications and databases, exploitation, reverse engineering, all types of applications that can be used for penetration testing. In the places here, that allows you to access your file systems, the files that you'll be using. It's something similar to my documents in Windows machines. So as you can see here, if we click on computer, you'll be able to access all the files and the devices. You rarely go here. This, um, you usually access stuff through the home right here or through the, through the root because we're the root users. So it's the same thing if I go to places and then go to home right here. And from here you can see that you can access your desktop, your documents, downloads, music, whatever. Same way that you have it for Windows or for um, Mac OS X. And again, you have your trash here where your trash goes. This is just a basic file manager back forward. And then you can double click a file to run it or double click a directory to open it. Here we have, again, as I said, the status bar. Here you can see the number of desktops or workspaces. Now, Linux usually supports uh, workspaces, so you can have different windows running on different workspaces. Now, at the moment, I have no windows running, so there's I can't really go to the second word, uh, a second workplace. But for example, if I had my file manager open here, I can go to a next workspace, and this is, will be empty. And then I can, I can have something else running here, and have two things or three things I can have as many workspaces as I want and it's just easier for you to be switching between them and we'll be using them when we're doing our penetration testing attacks. Now in here you can have your keyboard if you have more than a keyboard that you want to switch between them. You have your networks from here so you can access your wire your wired networks and your wireless. Now one thing to note you will not be able to access your internal wireless card through a virtual machine. So the internal wireless card that you have, which is connected to your main machine, you will not be able to access it through your virtual machine. As you remember, we set the settings of this computer to be, to be connected through NAT, which means that it has internet connection, but the internet connection is coming from the host machine. So it actually has a, a, virtual, inter, a virtual network set up between this device and my main device, which is this device. So there is a connection between the two devices. This device has internet access because of the internet access provided by the main machine. You can also change your volume from here, from the same menu. You can turn off the computer, lock it, or enter the preferences from here. These are just normal preferences. You can get yourself familiar with them, backgrounds, notifications, displays, we'll play with this after we fix the resolution, mouse, networks, all that kind of stuff. And then you have your battery settings and that's it really for the status bar. So very simple, applications and places, the most things that we'll be using. And then you can access your network uh, settings from here. If you had a wireless card connected, you'll be able to see the available networks here. If you want to connect a wireless card, all you have to do is connect it. So I have a, wi a USB wireless card. I'm going to connect it now and I'll show you how it shows up. 
So you need to go to this menu right here, devices, and then go to USB. Now this, this procedure is the same regardless of the device that you connect. If it's a USB device, whether it's a wireless device or if it's just a memory stick or any USB device, you go to devices, USB, and then select the device that you want to connect. So I connected a wireless card and the chipset that's used in the card is called Atheros. So this is my wireless card. I'm going to click it. And that should connect it now to my virtual machine, to the Kali machine. So if we go here and go on wireless and then select a network. And as you can see, I can see the networks that exist around me. I can select any network that I want to connect to and just put the password and connect to the network normally the way you connect to any other network that you want. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect my wireless card now. Now, as you can see now, I, I don't have a wireless card connected. What I'd like to note though, I still have internet connection because as I said, my main machine right here, the, uh, the Mac OS X machine is connected to my network and this virtual machine is connected to my Mac machine via an internal virtual network. So the browser that comes in with Kali Linux is this one. And I'm going to just go to Google to show you that we have internet connection. As you can see that we have internet connection right here. Now this is just a normal browser. You can use it the same way you use any other browser. The applications right here, I'm not going to talk about them at the moment because we're going to use them in the future and you'll see what each one of them does once we get to it.